Hi friends, Mr. Mike here for some more fun learning at home. So today we are going to be talking about measurement by using some string. So if you don't have string at your house, that's okay. You can use blocks or Legos or even paper clips to measure things at your house. And did you know that the clothes that you're wearing right now first start off as string? Machines use it and weave it together to make it into big pieces of fabric and then it's sewn together to make your clothing. I think that's pretty cool. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to be measuring a shoe, a mitten, and also a sock. Okay, so we are gonna first start by measuring this shoe. So we're gonna start at the front of the shoe and then go back to the heel of the shoe. Lay it on there like that, cut it. The next item that we're going to do is our mitten. So we'll just lay it over here just like that cut the end. The next item that we're going to do is the sock. So we'll lay it out just like that. There we go, cut it. Now we're going to see which one is the biggest. Now we laid our strings out for our sock, for our mitten, and also for our shoe. Which one do you think is the biggest? I think the sock is the biggest. Which one do you think is the smallest? That's right, the shoe is the smallest. The sock is the biggest, the shoe is the smallest, and the mitten is right there in the middle. I hope that you try this at home, and if you do, I want you to email me what you found in your house. What was your biggest item and your smallest item that you were able to measure in your house? Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you real soon. Take care, bye.